five, four, three. Good morning, WHS. Today is Friday, February 22nd, 2019. Good morning, Eagles. Welcome to Blue Eagle News, information for the students by the students. I'm Jared Kaufman. And I'm Amina Shatil. We wanted to acknowledge and thank all the advisories who have submitted cheers from advisory this week. We will be airing them next week. Also next week, from February 25th to March 1st, thousands of schools and youth organizations from across the United States will participate in National Say Something Week. Here is Audra Saladin with information about how us Eagles will participate. Hi, I'm Audra Saladin, and Monday is the start of Say Something Week, sponsored by Sandy Hook Promise. The hope is to raise awareness and reinforce the power young people have about their abilities to prevent tragedies and save lives when they say something to a trusted adult. This is a part of our hashtag What If Eagles campaign. Let's make a difference. Here's a short video. There are over 2 million acts of violence in schools every year. 2,000 student suicides. Nearly one school shooting per week since 2013. What do these acts have in common? They are all preventable. How? There are warning signs and signals given off before these acts happen often in tweets, posts, and texts. In fact, four out of five school shooters tell someone about their plans beforehand. 70% of people who die by suicide tell someone their plans or give some other warning signs. So what can we do? We can say something before someone acts. The sophomore class will be hosting a fundraiser at Buffalo Wild Wings next Friday, March 1st. 10% of each check will be donated to their class. However, students or faculty do need to bring a ticket with them. They'll be distributing these slips next week during advisory. However, they can also be picked up in room 114. The following is an extremely important message for seniors who are applying to Dollars for Scholars. The Dollars for Scholars board recently contacted the school to make it loud and clear that they need students to do the following in order to qualify for a scholarship. Students must hit the submit button or your information is not complete. Students must complete your FAFSA, free application for federal student aid, and then enter that information into Dollars for Scholars. Students must invite their counselor to upload their transcript by February 22nd, today. If these steps are not done, you will not qualify for a scholarship from Dollars for Scholars. All those interested in performing or helping with the second annual The Weathersfields Variety Show Competition, please attend an informational meeting on Tuesday, February 26th at 2.10 p.m. in room 506. There will be a brief baseball meeting Wednesday, February 27th at 2.15 in the pool bleachers. This will be the last meeting before tryouts begin on March 16th. All boys planning to try out for this year's team should plan on attending this brief meeting. Please see Coach Bags with any questions. More baseball news. The team is holding a fundraiser at Puerto Vallarta on March 18th. Put the date in your calendar now and plan to take your friends out to dinner with you. Thanks guys, I'm Lucas. And I'm Josh, and we'll, re and we'll be reporting sports for you today. The wrestling team has a meet for the CIAC Open Championship today at the Floyd Little Athletic Center in New Haven starting at 3. On Saturday the 23rd, the hockey team has a game against E.O. Smith at the UConn Hockey Rink at 145 as they try to extend their win streak to five in a row. Finally, congratulations to the four students who were honored by the CT Coaches Association for earning all-state recognition. These four students were Megan Kelleher, Alexis Semecki, Keenan Music, and Justin Bracci. As always, come out to show support our teams and show Eagle Pride. And don't forget about making travel plans. Plan ahead and travel abroad to Ireland. You can travel to Ireland in April of 2020 and learn about the rich history, the beautiful landscape, and the amazing people of Ireland. For details on the trip, see Mr. Rotes in room 318, Mr. Meerman in room 301, or Ms. Coco in room 23. Attention theater lovers, Weathersfield Teen Theater is looking for production staff for their summer show, Fame. This includes director, vocal director, stage manager, choreographer, set designer, costume designer, pit director, lighting designer, and sound designer. Students must be over 16 and experience is preferred. 
please email Chairman of the Board Brianna Boucher at Brie 102802 at gmail.com to set up an interview and if you have any questions. Interested in reading about current events and more happening at WHS? Students from Mr. Martin's journalism class and journalism club have written and posted articles for you to read. They are posted on the school blog now, including articles about March Madness, vaping, the trip to Belize, Habitats for Humanity, headphones in class, and many more. You can find these at www.eagleiwhs.com. <laughs> Lastly, next week is the end of Black History Month, and it will begin with the African American Read-In from February 25th through March 1st in the Library Media Center. Come anytime to participate. If you didn't get a chance to see the full announcements, you can check us out on Facebook and Twitter at Blue Eagle TV. And as always, you can find us on Instagram at Blue Eagle TV 411. And as always, you can visit the Blue Eagle webpage at tinyurl.com slash Blue Eagle TV. Be sure to pay attention to the digital bulletins for things you should know about clubs, activities, and other important information. If you have an announcement or recognition that you would like to share with our WHS family, please email Ms. Coco at scoco at weathersfield.me or Blue Eagle News at blueeagles at weathersfield.me. Hey, Jared, I have a yoke for you. Awesome. What is it? Okay. Why is the letter A like a flower? I don't know. Why? How? A B comes after it. <laughs> That's a good one. Have a great day, WHS. See you next time.